Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and welcome to this jQuery tutorial on HTTP requests. Now, HTTP requests, uh, usually found in AJAX, are a way to pass data to a page, process and then send back. Uh, that's the overall process that we're trying to achieve and it can be very easily done with uh, jQuery. So we're going to be creating a small application and we're going to be integrating PHP into it and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to provide the user with an input box we're going to have them enter their name and as they're typing their name their name is going to be processed by PHP we're going to use the str rev function which reverses a string and as a user types they're going to have their name fed back reversed so this is a really basic example that we're going to be looking at however after we've done this you can see that you can utilize the power of it in other projects and using other um, purposes so the first thing we want to do because we're going to be uh, using event handling we want to put our jfunk.js page at the bottom so this is just a um, JavaScript file that I have included and I have this open here which is currently blank so all of our work is going to go in here and this is at the bottom for the for the purpose that we are using event handling and we need to have the elements initiated before we actually um, control the events so let's go ahead and set up our actual page um, we're gonna have an input type text um, and we are going to have um, the ID of this as name and I think that's about it yeah so this is our input field uh, I've given it an ID of name you notice that I haven't used the name attribute because that's not required in this case and essentially this looks like this on a page so we're going to type our name in here okay so now what we want to do is we want to uh, create an event handler for when the user actually types keys or characters rather into this text field so in jfunk.js we use a dollar sign and then two brackets inside this we need to reference the element name which is name so we use hash name and then we say dot um, and we have key up so we are this event is going to take place when the key um, has come up from the keyboard and then we uh, just literally put a line terminator on the end of that so this is the function that we are using now inside of this we need a callback function so we need function and then we initiate our uh, or create our block of code that we're going to run and then we can pull this down here so we can write everything else in here now to test this works we could just say alert hello and go over to our page click in here and let's type something so a and you can see that we've got a uh, pay uh, a dialogue coming up saying hello let's just get rid of that and that will bring that up again okay so now we need actually need to grab the user's name now we actually need to pass this variable to PHP so we're going to be doing that a bit later on and we're going to create a separate PHP file that's going to help process this so now we need to create a new variable and I'm going to call that name and that's going to be equal to dollar sign and then in here hash name as we've done up here so we're just referencing this element on the page we then say dot val and then two brackets so this function here will take the value from there so now what we can do is we can say alert um, in here sorry name without any uh, single quotation marks and what this will do is it will alert back to us whatever we've typed in so if I type in a there then a B then a C you can see that that's uh, just basically uh, replicating what we've typed and bringing it up as a dialog box so now what we actually need to do is we need to pass this to a PHP page in order to process it and then send it back and then we're going to output it to the user so the PHP page is going to do all the processing now you might have already noticed that this is a useful technique um, the way I've explained for actually uh, taking user input and saving things straight to a database on the same page it all ties in with each other jQuery is extremely flexible and easy to use and therefore taking just this basic concept will allow you to expand okay so we are going to use a dollar sign and then a bit of a difference we're just going to put a dot and post okay so this is the uh, we're sending the data um, that we specify inside of this here 
um, we're sending this as post data. Similar, similarly, you can do get, okay? But we're gonna be using post. Now, this is gonna take uh, three uh, parameters. The first one is the page here that we want to submit the uh, data to. In curly brackets, in the third parameter are the variable names that we want to pass. And it works like this, so variable name and then uh, value okay that's basically it obviously this um, this that I've just written here won't work because we're not you know we're not sending something called variable name however we are going to send a variable called name and that's going to be equal to name now my variable uh, namings made this slightly confusing however this variable here is the name of the variable that we're passing so in PHP this will be the name of the variable much like if you were processing in a form you would send um, you would pick this up as the um, name attribute on the field so if you're struggling to understand this then you need to understand that this is the name of the variable that we're sending and this is the value here that we're sending so this is what it's called and this is the value of it so the name is the name here that the users typed in the third is a callback function. So we have a callback function in a callback function, and this is just function. We need uh, two uh, brackets, uh, two curly braces again, and again we're going to pull this down slightly. Okay, so in here is what we're going to send back. Now let's uh, choose a file that we're going to send this data to. I'm going to create a new file in my text editor, and I'm going to save this. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to save this in a fo in a folder called PHP, and I'm going to save this as process underscore name dot PHP. So now our directory structure is as follows: we have index dot PHP, which we are working on over here. We then have JS, where our uh, jfunk dot JS now jQuery files are located, and we have PHP, which is where we're going to process uh, the data. So PHP and process name dot PHP. So in jfunk.js in here, we can write php forward slash process underscore name dot php. So we're sending this value here to this file here. So this is the value with a variable name name, which we can pick up in php. Then we have a function here and anything we want to do in the callback in here. And if you haven't already looked at callbacks, there is a tutorial in this series if you haven't already watched it. Now there is an, uh, a slight difference we need to make with this callback function. We need to provide a variable name of the data that's going to be processed uh, or rather output back from this process name.php. So let's um, let's go for data. We'll just call it data. So essentially what we're going to be doing in here is we're going to be uh, this will automatically process for us depending on what the user has typed into the uh, field here. And this, vari uh, this data variable will actually be the result of this file here. So if we were to echo hello, hello would then be contained within this data variable. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so um, we're gonna skip, um, oh actually no, we'll continue with the jfunk.js file. We are essentially just going to output this data variable because we're going to process the name and then just echo something inside this file which is then going to be sent back into data so inside index.php we need to create a div area that's going to uh, accommodate for this uh, text so i'm going to call this um, name feedback okay so this is the feedback that's taken from our file okay so inside here we now can say dollar and then in here hash name underscore feedback dot html remember we looked at this in a couple of videos back and then we are going to say data okay so whatever is echoed out in process name is sent and then put into name feedback div down here so now that we've uh, grasped the overall concept of the jquery processing we need to go into process name.php and just write out a couple of lines that are going to process this name and then uh, echo back a result so remember the variable name is called name so inside process name.php we can create an if statement just to check whether we have uh, got this value so dollar underscore post name so this variable name here corresponds to this here and then the value of this will be this here so the value of the, what's been typed inside of this box 
Okay, so if it is set, then we need to, uh, well, I'm going to create a new variable. It's really a waste of a variable space, but it doesn't matter. Dollar underscore post name. So if it is set, we give it a variable called name, and then we can just echo out str rev, which is a function uh, built into PHP already, which just reverses a string, and then name. That's all we need to do. So before we test it in our browser and have a look at what the result is, let's go ahead and just uh, catch up on ourselves and look at the process uh, again. So the user types something in this text field here. jfunk.js picks up on the key up um, event. So when the user um, types a character and then releases the key, a function, a callback function will be created. And that callback function is all of this here. Inside here, we then set a variable called name to the value of the um, field that we're typing into. So that's using dot val function in jQuery. We then use um, an HTTP request and we're, we're posting our data, we're not using get. And we're posting this data to php forward slash process name dot php, which we created earlier. We're sending a variable to this PHP script called name, which is a post variable with the value name, which we've already created up here. And then we're creating another callback function, but this time we are taking into account the results fed back from this page here. And then we're just echoing out, if you like, then results into this uh, div. But we're actually using the HTML function to append, or not append, but insert this data that's fed back into the div. So hopefully that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, then go over your code see how it works, try and change things around a bit and uh, try and get the hang of it. Let's go ahead and test it to see if it works. So I'm just gonna start typing A. Now you can see that immediately we've been fed back A. Now this result here is actually from the PHP file. So we now know that PHP has successfully taken into account our variable and it's processed and sent it back. So now as I start typing, you can see that we were actually fed back the uh, result from the PHP file as a result of the str rev function in PHP. So whatever we type here is just gonna be uh, automatically reversed. So obviously this uh, functionality of reversing a string upon typing it is pointless, but you can start to see the useful um, nature of um, HTTP requests in jQuery because we're typing text and we're actually feeding back something in PHP. Now this process name.php file could do anything. It could be taking values from a database. Um, a nice example to um, mention is, let's say um, this um, value here is um, a password uh, validation tool, for example. We want, say we wanted the password to be greater than six characters, but no more than say 16 characters. And we wanted it to also contain special characters. As we type a password here, PHP can actually process this and you can do a variety of if statements or functions or however you would do such a thing in PHP and then we can get live information fed back to us. Another great example is uh, the username availability. If you have usernames stored in your database you might like to use this functionality for the user to enter a username and it automatically check whether that username is available. Now for this, you might want, not want to use an event handler on key up. You might want to create a button here, which actually then calls this function, um, the functionality that we've created. And you may want to use a function in JavaScript for that. And you would place your function in jfunk.js. So hopefully that makes sense. This is a really powerful way of using HTTP requests, extremely easy and uh, really effective with jQuery.